Welcome to our video. The U.S. Joint Chiefs new strategy paper on joint concept for competing. I would like to focus on the CSIS report commentary by Mr. Anthony H. Cordesman, Emeritus Chair in Strategy. The U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff have issued a major new paper on U.S. strategy entitled Joint Concept for Competing. It is an in-depth analysis of the changes needed in U.S. strategy that is some 70 pages in length, rather than a short and often vacuous analysis like the U.S. National Strategy Papers. It is also a major departure from the past U.S. focus on warfighting and reappraisal of both the need for a global approach to competition and of the threats posed by potentially hostile major powers, like Russia and China and smaller powers like Iran and North Korea, focusing on long-term competition rather than deterrence alone. The new paper focuses on the most critical strategic challenges the United States faces. It creates an approach to national strategy that can limit and defeat outside threats while minimizing the risk of escalating to a level of combat that is potentially uncontrollable and does devastating damage to both sides. And that can meet the ongoing global challenges from states like China and the regional challenges from states like Iran. The introduction by Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff General Milley makes it clear that U.S. strategy cannot focus on winning in a warfighting sense. It quotes Henry Kissinger in stating that the objective is to increase one's options and reduce those of the adversary. The goal is less victory than persistent strategic progress. Defining long-term strategic competition. The analysis addresses long-term strategic competition as a persistent and long-term struggle that occurs between two or more adversaries seeking to pursue incompatible interests without necessarily engaging in armed conflict with each other. Joint concept for competing calls for a far more balanced and realistic approach to strategy than a narrow focus that defines integrated deterrence in terms of the ability to defeat a rival in open combat and one that is based on the illusion that the United States can create, or maintain, its vision of a rules-based order. Concentrating on the joint force. The full text of Joint Concept for Competing makes it clear that its definition of strategic competition requires an integrated civil-military approach to U.S. strategy and force planning. But the analysis focuses on redesigning the joint force and implementing a new approach to strategy within the Department of Defense. Integrated Campaigning, Preserving Deterrence but emphasizing partners, civil competition, and coordination with other elements of the U.S. government. This broader approach to U.S. strategy does not mean that preserving an effective level of deterrence is not critical. The analysis makes it clear that the United States must create and maintain an effective level of deterrence and that it must prepare for armed conflict if deterrence fails. It also, however, stresses what it calls integrated campaigning, the need to counter both the military and civil competitive strategies that challenge vital U.S. interests, and the critical role the United States must play in supporting, and working with, its partners. It also recognizes that U.S. partners will have somewhat different interests and priorities, and the need to deal with complexity and uncertainty on a global level, a reality that U.S. national strategy documents have largely failed to highlight. Addressing global needs and risks. The full report goes on to provide a far more nuanced analysis of these issues. And its treatment of issues like the rules of the game is far more realistic than the idea that the United States or any combination of powers, can impose a rules-based order on today's complex and unstable world. Unlike recent U.S. national strategy papers, it also recognizes the need to engage the world by region and that working with different allies and partners on different terms will be vital to U.S. success and security. The focus on sub-areas is particularly important because the recent versions of the U.S. National Security Strategy document issued by the White House have been so narrowly focused that they have been a 
self-inflicted wound that has undermined U.S. credibility in many parts of the world. They have focused far too narrowly on China in a world where the United States has been regularly engaged in unpredicted local and regional conflicts ever since 1945. They have done so in a world where the United States is now immersed in meeting the challenge of Russia's attack on Ukraine while a little more than a year earlier it seemed the United States focused on Taiwan and Asia. The end result has convinced many allies in the Middle East and the developing world that the United States is backing away from its strategic engagement in other regions. This loss of credibility has had the ironic impact of opening up the world to Chinese and Russian intervention and casting doubt on U.S. strategic support and assistance. Looking beyond deterrence and warfare, joint concept for competing still highlights competition with China and Russia but is so in far broader and more realistic terms. Its summary of the broader threat from Russia focuses as much on the political and economic dimensions as the military ones. Rather than focusing on an imminent military threat from China in 2027, it looks more broadly at China and summarizes that aspect of U.S. strategic competition as an enduring global competition through 2049. A new emphasis on whole-of-government operations and a realistic approach to partners and allies. Joint concept for competing also calls for another a critical change in U.S. strategy. It calls for a whole-of-government strategy that it is coupled to an emphasis on diplomatic, economic, financial, information, legal, and intelligence, competition and the need to deal with a full range of other considerations, including, socio-cultural, commercial-industrial, technological, ideological-theological, and public health. The analysis briefly highlights the need for a new approach to integrating the operations of a redesigned joint force with the operations of civil agencies like state. Getting the theory right without really addressing the practice. At the same time, there are serious weaknesses in the document. One lies in the fact that it does not stress the need for a far more sophisticated approach to creating an integrated civil-military strategy than the United States now possesses. Most U.S. planning still sharply separates State Department and Department of Defense activity. Recent wars like the conflict in Afghanistan have exposed the lack of an effective structure for integrating wartime planning and operations within the U.S. government, and the lack of a U.S. national security strategy that combines the efforts of the Department of Defense with the State Department and other elements of U.S. government. As the fiscal 2024 budget requests show, the two departments do not have anything approaching an integrated approach to developing a national security budget, security assistance efforts, or tying security assistance to the civil aspects of global competition. Major problems also exist in coordinating the various elements of the Department of Defense and in its ability to effectively implement any form of a coherent strategy. Its programming, planning, and budget system has degenerated into a series of shopping lists for each military service and major defense agency. Its budget requests, at best, pay lip service to strategy. And its service-driven shopping lists have failed to create effective paths modernization, integrated joint operations. And effective planning for joint operations will partners in most areas of the world. While the joint concept for competing does examine some of the issues in integrating civil-military operations within the U.S. government, it tacitly relies on a failed system that urgently needs reform. That's all. From some of the CSIS report commentary by Mr. Anthony H. Cordesman, Emeritus Chair in Strategy.